competition. There's a lot of excitement going around Rockefeller Center right now. Mm -hmm. They're doing the MTV Music Awards tonight. Right, They're right shooting the over there. It's a big thing. The place is cordoned off. And, uh, well, you know, rock and roll is in the news lately. Right. I don't know if people are aware of this, but just a couple of days ago, uh, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame had its big grand opening in Cleveland, Ohio. This is just a, yeah. It was a big, big deal. They had a, uh, they had a, a giant ceremony. They, they rock bands played. Yeah, it was they put on a huge. big show. They, they opened the place to the public. Right. All, all these great exhibits. And uh, well, I thought that our show should do something on it. So I actually went. I'm a big rock and roll fan. Yeah. I went to Cleveland, and I brought a camera crew, ladies and gentlemen, to give you all the exclusive scoop on the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And uh, well, this is what I found. Take a look. <laughs> Shepard Gallagher, she's the director of exhibits here at the museum, and uh, she's very kindly agreed to show us around. Let's go. Do you feel that it's a little foolish to build a monument to rock and roll when it probably only, it's not going to last, this rock and roll. It's probably got six more months left, and then it's jazz again, don't you think? No. I'm here in the stadium where they're going to have the uh, big Rock and Roll Hall of Fame concert. And, uh, well, I think um, it'd be really great to get up there on the stage and talk to some of the talent up there. But uh, we don't have clearance, you know. We, we kind of screwed up. We didn't get any. Uh, so, uh, but I think uh, someone over there is interviewing Martha Reeves of Martha and the Vandellas, someone who does have clearance. I think you can. So uh, actually, maybe we can just kind of listen in, see if we can hear what uh, what she has to say. See if, uh... <laughs> nah. Not too long ago, you were up on stage. You were doing an interview. Yes. How, what were they asking you? Well, they were asking me how I felt about being here. How do you feel about being here? Uh, who was I looking forward to seeing? Who are you excited to see? Uh, I, uh, I can't figure out if this is an exhibit for the Everly Brothers or the Corleone family. This is an interactive part of the Hall of Fame. Uh, I guess this machine here, you can pick a time. I guess I'll try the 70s right here. And then once you pick the 70s, it gives you a selection here. Uh, and you can listen to anything. I'll try Black Sabbath. I'm here in the hospitality tent. This is where all the greats in rock and roll are gonna be hanging out during the big show. And uh, well, this place is probably gonna be privy to some real backstage decadence. You can tell over here they've got Raisin Bran, <laughs> Rice Krispies, uh, original uh, organic soy beverage. And this one right here, uh, Honey and a Bear. Um, I wonder if you could help me out. I'm looking for the uh, drumstick exhibit. Do you know where that is? Right here. Oh, son of a gun. There it is. That's incredible. Do you like honey? I like honey, and I like uh, blueberry muffins. See one right there, and I like bagels. I like croissants. What's happened to rock and roll? It's not about this, is it? As you can see here, this drumstick is signed by Lionel Hampton with a P, and then right below, this drumstick is signed Lionel Hampton, no P. What the hell's going on? God, I guess he forgot to spell his name, but I'll call security. We'll shut the place down right now. None of these signatures are real, are they? You guys were up all night before the ribbon cutting signing anybody's name to these drumsticks. Isn't that right? I'm afraid you've caught us in the act. Yeah, explain Ted Koppel's name. There's an information booth here in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, so let's go over and, and find some stuff out and see what's going on. Hi there. Your name is? It's Lisa. Lisa, how you doing? I'm just curious, um, is Molly Hatchett back on the road with the original singer, or is it that other guy? I don't know. Okay, um, maybe you know this. You know in the song Blinded by the Light, the Manfred Mann version? You know when the guy says, blinded by the light, ripped up like a dusion in the roller in the... 
What does he mean by that? I don't, I don't think people know what that word is. Do you know what that is? Uh, do you like, uh, do you like honey? Honey and a bear? Uh, I ain't too you know much. Little cute little yeah. bears, they put the honey in? I take a pass on them too. Uh, really? Because they, they got it over here and I was thinking, what's happened to rock and roll when backstage they have honey and a bear? What's going on? Bass player is for Iron Butterfly. Do you know that guy? Do you know who that is? I, again, I don't know. Do you think honey in a plastic bear is an important element of rock and roll? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Jackson Brown is behind me now. He's uh, rehearsing for the show. And uh, like I said, I can't get up on stage. I don't have access, but through the magic of modern technology, I can be up there and jam with him. Take a look. I've noticed that there are a lot of personnel around the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame wearing black t-shirts, black jeans, and black berets. Sort of a goon squad. I actually uh, was just uh, looking at one exhibit and I was severely beaten. As you can see behind me is a security for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. They don't really want to be on camera. Um, they're everywhere. You know the, the honey that comes in the bear? You know? Do you like that stuff? No. Mm. This is Christian, and I understand you designed uh, the hair for all the mannequins, is that right? Installed and designed, yes. Did you hear about the Lionel Hampton, Lionel Hampton drumstick fiasco? <laughs> a lot of people were tearing the place apart upstairs, they're so angry. No, I heard nothing about the Lionel. It's a dark day for rock and roll. Hey, Honey Bear, can I ask you a few questions? Sure, Tony. All right, uh, tell me, how do you feel about being here, and who are you excited to see? Well, it's a great honor to be here, and I'm excited to see a lot of the stars, like Dr. John. He's very nice. He always puts me in his tea. Oh, sounds great. And uh, Iggy, I'm very excited to see him. He pours me on his nipples. Oh, well, that's terrific. Hey, Honey Bear, why don't you sing with me? Let's harmonize. Let's sure. Go. Wake up, little, little Susie, Susie, wake up. Wake up, little, little Susie, Susie, wake, wake up. up. Take it away, Honey Bear. Oh, what are you gonna tell your mama? <laughs> what are you gonna tell your pa? Thanks very much, Honey Bear. I appreciate it. Well, you're welcome. If you don't know what year it is, do you? If you're not sure. Uh, if you took off the sunglasses just once and looked at a calendar. Oh, my God. Uh, what is I look into your eyes and I saw the future of rock and roll. Look, do it to the camera. <laughs> Take a break when we come back. A very funny guy, Louis Anderson's with us. Stick around.